and welcome back to the farmhouse. I'm Deanne from Hummingbird Acres and today I'm going to take you guys inside the farmhouse to show you a project that I have been working on and it's one of those projects where I try to do 1% more every day and when it gets done it gets done not really in a hurry or a rush to get it done it's just something that needs to be done. So let's take a look inside our living room. So this is the living room of our farmhouse. We do have a slope point farmhouse. I talk more about it on our um, website, which I'll link below for you, kind of the history of this house and what it means to my mom and dad. But this is our living room. And the project that I have been working on is, as you can see, we have wallpaper. And right here, you can see that I have started to pull the wallpaper off. So this wallpaper has been on here for, gosh, probably close to 15 years. So it is really, really old. And you can start to see, especially over here, you can start to see where it is coming off the wall and it just needs to be replaced and taken off. Now, if you've ever heard anything about wallpaper, you know that it can be a bear to take off. Like horror stories have been told about taking wallpaper off the wall. Well, luckily I have found a method that has worked really well for us and it makes it so that if I spend about an hour a day pulling the wallpaper off, it goes so quick. So you can see right there going up to our second floor, I have gotten all of that wallpaper off except for the border. The border is a little more tricky and we are pretty sure we're going to have to use a steamer to get that off, but the main wallpaper comes off so easy with this little trick I'm going to show you guys today. Before I show you the trick and jump into that though, I wanna just kind of give you the plan for this area. So once we get all of the wallpaper off the wall, we are going to fix the wall. Um, if we walk back over here, you can see underneath the wallpaper, the paint is coming off and it's in some places, it is all the way down to the drywall board. So that all needs to be fixed. We're gonna put a skim coat on it and then sand it all down. And then once that is done, we are going to paint. We are gonna paint the upper part a bright white, and then the lower part, the wainscoting, which is behind the baby swing, we're gonna paint the wainscoting like a very light gray. So it's definitely going to brighten up this space and kind of give it more of the clean farmhouse look. Um, we're also going to paint this area. This was an addition that we put on and it was just painted gray, but we're gonna paint this area to match the rest of the family room. And this right now is used as the kids' play area. So you can see like all of our toys and stuff for them. So we're gonna go in the kitchen so I can show you what we're going to mix up to help us get this wallpaper off. And then we will get started. All right, so in the kitchen, I am going to mix one part vinegar with two parts hot water. So let me get the hot water. the vinegar to the hot water. And then I'm gonna pour it all in a spray bottle. Shake it up really good. I am going to grab my plastic razor knife. This is an amazing tool for this project. 
Um, we got them off of Amazon. I'll link it below for you. But we have used this. I've used this for all the roll paper I've done so far. And my dad has actually used this to pull like a very sticky coating off of the front of one of our campers. So great tool if you're trying to remove something. All right, now that I have all of this, I'm gonna head back to the family room. Okay, right, I'm gonna start over here. Let's see if I can do this. All right, so I've kind of, I've already, we're gonna start over here in this corner. The way I have done this if I, is I have sectioned the room off into little sections. So each day when I start this project, instead of being overwhelmed with the amount of stuff that needs to be done, I only focus on finishing one section at a time. That way when I'm done with that section, I'm done for the day and I can move on to something else. This is a great way to make progress on a project and not get overwhelmed. So chunk it down into smaller tasks and the more smaller tasks you do, before you know it, the whole project will be done. So here's my section for today. I just wanna get one, maybe two panels of this wallpaper off. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by using my plastic razor and I'm gonna pull off that outer, like the, the fancy part, the colored part of the wallpaper. And the way you do this is just find a corner and start pulling. And you can see how handy this plastic razor blade is. And if it gets dull, we have more, so I just replace it because it will kind of get dull over time. I have not removed the light switches or any of that just because um, I am planning on taking my time on this project and I don't want open light switches. So I have left these on for now and then when we get ready to fix the walls, we'll take them off and I'll finish up the wallpaper that's underneath them. Another thing with these plastic razors is they are very sharp. So when you are doing this, you wanna make sure that you are being as flat and as plain on the drywall as possible so you don't nick the drywall as you go. Because then that's just giving you more work. All right, so I got some of the colored, the top coat of the wallpaper off. So now I'm going to use our vinegar and water solution and I'm just going to wet everything down. It is going to drip a little bit and if you're in an area where you don't want the floor to get a little bit wet, then I suggest putting down some towels. So getting it all wet. All right, I'm gonna let this sit for about a minute or two, just so I can make sure everything is nice and wet. All right, after about two or three minutes, I'm gonna take my plastic razor and I, like I told you, this is a game changer for this. And I'm going to very carefully run it along until I get a piece to pick up. And then look at that, look how easy that comes off. So easy. And then I can just start another section. So as you can see, this has become a very easy project with this homemade wallpaper remover, which is just water and vinegar and this plastic razor blade. So 
don't let wallpaper in your house overwhelm you. There are easy ways to get it off. You just have to do some trial and error and see what you can get. So I am going to finish this section for today and then move on to another project. We save lots of money by doing these projects ourselves. We are very much a DIY family. We will tackle just about anything. Um, and if it's not something we are really familiar with, we will either, either do some searches online to learn how to do it, or we always have friends that are DIY families as well. And we can always contact them to see if they have ever tackled whatever project we are trying to tackle. If you are looking to save money while you're building your homestead, I highly suggest you start some projects and do them yourselves. Not only are you gonna save money, but you are going to gain some valuable skills that will help you along the way in your homesteading journey. And removing wallpaper is one of those easy skills to learn and a lot of people hate doing it. So if you don't mind doing it, if it's therapeutic for you, you can also solicit your services of wallpaper removal and maybe earn a couple extra bucks to fund a project on your homestead. So if you are not doing DIY projects, I highly suggest you look into them. They take a little bit longer, but you are saving money and you are learning very valuable skills. So I'm gonna finish this section and like I said, move on to another project and then I will do another section another day. done. I do have to go get the step ladder to get up to the top, but removing wallpaper done the easy way. If you guys found this video helpful, please make sure that you hit the like button. And if you want to see more DIY projects around our farmhouse and our homestead, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified the next time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for visiting the farmhouse today. And if you have any questions, please leave them below.